I am currently weather as usual is gorgeous sitting in front of the van in quartzite and unless we just really need something that's the only reason I can see us moving <laughs> in the next but I think we're here for like 14 days but we could be here up to 14 days so when we need supplies of course we'll go to the store or something but other than that we're gonna be here the Sun is beautiful and we have our wood so we're gonna be burning a fire tonight so we don't even have to go in soon but I'm out here just oh my goodness beautiful day it is gorgeous I love this spot okay for those who have been to Korea I warmed up some kimchi I found some kimchi at Walmart which is basically fermented cabbage and it's spicy and I added it to a cup of ramen soup. Now, I know this is not what Ajima would make in Korea. But I think this is as close as I'm going to get for now. Because she would make us some ramen out there in the field. And I'd have kimchi with it. And it was, oh, it was so good. So, I had a hankering for it today. Yeah, a couple noodles. Not the healthiest thing. But I added some kimchi. And I am about to enjoy this. I did not build this fire. Stibbs is the expert. <laughs> this is a good fire. We didn't go, we don't have to go inside because uh, at night it, it's pitch dark. But see the little lights? Well, she has hers under her van too. And they're already primed. So if something goes under, they get really bright. That's to keep the little critters away out here in, in the desert. But we have a nice little fire going. Quartzite, hey. Good morning. Decided to do a quick little video. It's about 5 a.m. I'm an early riser. But what do I wake up to? <clears throat> yes, another great day. But it's in the 30s. I'm just making a note that <laughs> spoke to a friend of mine from Louisiana yesterday. <clears throat> and he's talking about how there's this cold front about to come through and I'm like really well what what are gonna you know what are the temperatures he says yeah it's about to get down to about 50 I'm like really I'm in the 30s and I believe I don't know which video it is but I talked about how I only spent one night in Sedona because I don't do the 30s. I'm in court site doing the 30s. I got my months mixed up, obviously, um, because in Louisiana, it's colder in January. <clears throat> so once again, I'm thinking, okay, so the desert is surely going to be warmer, right? But no. December happens to be Quartzite's coldest month. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm wondering how many more nights are going to be in the 30s because that's going to be sort of an issue for me. I don't do 30s. Okay? Don't do tornadoes. Don't do snakes. Don't do the 30s. <laughs> It's not a long list but yeah I have the little uh, <clears throat> buddy heater on which I'm not comfortable with it that's why I don't do the 30s when it's in the 50s and the 40s I can do with things naturally just turn my van on warm it up a little bit and let that be it but when it's this cold I tend to need more heat and I don't I'm not comfortable really with uh, propane and things like that inside of the van. And yes, I have my two window vents in, you know, they're open. So I'm getting ventilation, but I'm just not comfortable. And I can only do this for a short amount of time because I'm never going to go to sleep with any type of heater like this on or period in my van. Yeah. So I'm up 
I have the buddy heater on. Let me show you. That's my buddy heater. It's right on the counter, so it has a proper, you know, airspace all around it. And I even took the curtains down to make sure that there's plenty of ventilation coming from my windows up front. Although you can't really see that because it's so dark. But yeah, that's where I'm getting my heating from currently. So this is my current situation. So what have I learned? If I'm going to head west and come to Arizona or Quartzsite, I'm not coming into January because it's more within my temperature range. Oh, and another small note. My travel buddy and even someone I met up with here in Arizona, they're both from colder states. So she hadn't even turned on her heat before today. And I'm looking at her like, what? But then when you are a true snowbird and you're leaving somewhere that's much colder than this in the winter and would often get snow, this is probably nothing. But for a Louisiana slash Mississippi girl, this is cold. Anyway, I'm warming up. I think today we're going to get to a whopping maybe 60 degrees. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm sure we'll still have a good time. It was too cold for a fire last night. Well, too windy, I might say, but been having a good time. Okay. Bye, YouTube family and friends.